Our next question is, many small towns and cities are aging with young people moving away to school and getting more access to jobs. In this writing, this is an issue. What would you as an MPP do to combat this? I believe the secret to retaining and attracting our youth back in this area is through the generation of quality and well-paying employment opportunities. We must make our community a safe and attractive area to raise a family and enjoy a quality of life second to none. To accomplish this, I will work with all levels of government and the community to ensure that we have the amenities and the tax environment that our youth are looking for. But first, we must reinstitute a positive job creation climate in Ontario. And under a Tim Hudak progressive conservative government, we will make this happen. Ontario deserves more. Canada deserves more. On October the 6th, both Jim McDonnell and together we will make this happen. Thank you. Um, I, I would assume that, uh, well I'd like to, to make this question a little bit broader. We're not just using young people to, to the cities. We're losing the middle class, we're losing family members. I've been on the doorstep meeting with constituents and I've met people who have literally splintered their families and this takes a terrible toll on the precious family's uh, experience, where one spouse has to go away for the week, come home on weekends, they're going to the city or other towns to get jobs. So what we have to do, like, let's be realistic, if we want to have good jobs here, this means we have to have good paying jobs. One thing the NDP government would do is raise the minimum wage immediately to $11. It's fine to say that uh, we, we uh, are going to give tax breaks to businesses, but unless we also give people who live here the wherewithal to buy produce that those businesses offer, then we're not contributing to the overall health of our communities. Now, it, another thing I think that will keep everybody here, not just young people to draw them back, but to keep our, our middle uh, sector workers here as well, we have to ensure that small communities get their fair share of infrastructure dollars. We have to make sure that small communities have the schools they need because a community that loses its school is on its deathbed. We have to make sure that the small communities have the clinical and medical support that they need, good access to hospitals, that means good transportation routes. If they don't have a hospital, it's only two communities in our riding do have hospitals. So we have to make sure that health care is available, but especially we have to make sure that uh, all the health services uh, are available here. I come from a family of uh, 10 people. My dad taught us what it's like to work hard and what it's like to make the tough decisions. Ontario suffered through, weathered an economic storm with respect to the world situation, the, the world economic situation, and we came out on top. And it was, it was because tough decisions and keeping your, you know, your work ethic in place and working hard brought us brought us out. We've created 93% of the jobs that were lost during the recession have been have been created. Ontario is leading the way. When you look at Stormont, Dundas and South Glengarry with respect to the uh, the infrastructure and the jobs cre created just through that infrastructure, go to the hospital out in Winchester. See the nurses that they've hired there. I've been there personally to see that. I have been personally to some of the social housing units that we built. Social housing units that were not built 20 years. Those are all job creating factors. Uh, look at the investment in St. Lawrence College, the provincial investment there. Look in the investment in our arena where people are hired. Those are huge investments and the, the economic growth in Ontario has seen is second to none. We're leading the way. Here, here, here. Rebuttal? Well, I think we talked, uh, I hear the, the opposition parties talk about a hidden agenda. And I think you have to look back at the last two elections and who could have more of a hidden agenda than the, the Liberal government under Dalton McGuinty. Twice he promised that he would be no tax increases and we've seen it happen. Tax increases have gone through the wall. We have over a hundred tax, in, tax increases and new taxes. You know, we talk about co uh, comp uh, competition. Our businesses are leaving the province. We have to be competitive or our jobs will be gone. It's funny that, or it's interesting that the, the word or the phrase, the term, hidden agenda, wasn't used once during this debate until just now. 
So it's interesting that it would come from some, from a, someone who represents a party that has a fourteen billion dollar hole yeah. in their platform. And when they talk about red tape and the bureaucracy and uh, the regulations, you want to talk about a hidden agenda. That's the hidden agenda. Frankly, I'd just like to remind both of you that uh, I think voters are pretty astute. And they know when they hear the key words tax cuts, and they hear it from both your parties as part of your election platforms, they know that what they're really looking at are program cuts down the road. You talked about the fine hospitals we used to have here when you were younger, Jim. Well, let me tell you, you don't build or support hospitals on tax cuts. No way. No way. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 another, it's another interesting point to hear, uh, to hear one of the parties talk about uh, taxes or they're going to you know tax the corporations the corporations are going to start paying the taxes the corporations are going to start paying the taxes if you want to derail if you want to derail a fragile economy you start you start uh, you know uh, talking about the, the taxing the corporations like the new democrats are talking about yeah. Jim, 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 Jim. the only way you're going to keep these corporations in the province the way we're going is to put stronger border controls because they're leaving faster than we can control them we've made this province so hard to work in people are leaving you talk about good, good, uh, good jobs. They aren't here. And Eleven-dollar jobs aren't going to attract our youth back. You need jobs with management skills and uh, that require good education. And we're not doing that in this province. They're leaving. Frankly, we're, we're, we're hiding the fact that we really are in a race to the bottom when we talk about tax cuts and corporations leaving. We're a very attractive place in which to work and set up a, a, a corporation simply because of our health care alone which takes the burden off the employer and rests, leaves it with the community where, where we have this, this tremendous wealth in health care, which is an incentive for people to set up shop here in Ontario. We're competitive at 14%. All economists recognize that. We don't need to go to 10%. We don't need to get in this race to the bottom. Well, when I look at it, we have to lower tax. It's just one of the things that are making us uncompetitive. Because one thing we don't have anymore that we used to have was a cheap, abundant power. And now that is one of the, the most expensive services in North America. We've mismanaged hydro. It's gone up 150%. We talk about a program spending being up 77%. That's great if your economy's growing. Our economy's grown 10% in the yes. same year. And we're not so how can you grow 10% and increase your spending by 77 You know how? By doubling the debt. To eight years. I have to say, we recognize too that hydro costs are spiraling out of control, and we have a plan to deal with that. Frankly, the spiraling out of control began with the attempted privatization of, of hydro and the splintering of Ontario Hydro into five separate agencies. We're going to bring them all back gradually into one publicly administered, publicly owned system. This will reduce costs tremendously. Sorry, time for that question.